Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vault Blades universe. You're watching Vault Blades Addict. My name is Lolander, and today we're gonna talk about the Cheeto. Cheeto is a tier six uh, Japanese medium tank, which isn't really fun to play. It has pretty nice gun, but that's about all that this tank has. It's not that mobile for the medium tank. Uh, it's not very accurate. It doesn't have almost none armor so uh, it's more of a close support or support tank not not really a frontline tank even a flanking tank um, because of its mobility uh, but just have a quick look at the stats of this tank and we're gonna move up to the gameplay because probably this will be more interesting for you how to play this tank more of uh, the specifics uh, okay, so uh, let's go just shortly. The hit points are 90, 17, fully upgraded, of course. Uh, main armor, as you can see, 75 frontly on turret, 50 on sides. Hull is uh, 75 on front, 35 on sides. So everyone will HE you, just everyone. Uh, okay, uh, as for a view range, uh, it's 278.8 meters. Um, DPM is 19.66, reload time is 4.88 seconds, average penetration is 155 on your AP, 186 on, a, uh, on your special AP, like a premium round, uh, and uh, 38 on HE. Average damage is 160 on AP, 135 on uh, Premo AP, and 200 on HE. Aiming time is 3.2 seconds, dispersion is uh, 0 0.344, um, depression elevation, it has a quite nice uh, gun depression in 10 degrees, uh, 20 degrees of gun elevation, uh, top speed is 45, but I wouldn't really count on this speed because it took uh, quite a bit of time to get to this top speed. Uh, it's uh, 18 on reverse. 31 kilometers per hour average weight is 32 over over 32 tons turret traverse speed is 43.874 hull traverse speed is 60.19 tank crossing capacity, uh, capacity is quite nice but this tank still is sluggish Okay, now let's just uh, take a quick peek at the uh, loadout and we're gonna proceed. Uh, so, multi-purpose restoration pack, repair kit and adrenaline. For provisions is only jury, um, the white rice and improved fuel. As for ammunition, I'm using mainly AP because the penetration on this gun is quite nice on tier 6. So, I, uh, you will mostly shoot AP, which is nice. Uh, so 48 rounds of AP, 11 of prim premium AP and 6 rounds of HE. As for equipment, I'm using gun rammer because the penetration values are nice, like I told you. I'm using also enhanced uh, gun laying drive and vertical stabilizer to f get the most performance of a gun. Mm, I'm using defense system because, uh, like I told you, it's not the front light attack, it's not the flanking type tank exactly this ma in the in exact manner so defense system plus it's more more too um, comfortable comfortable for me uh, but you can use improved modules if you like i'm using uh, enchanted armor uh, i really don't know why because this tank really doesn't have armor probably i will just switch to improved assembly um, I'm not using the third one, but it would be a uh, toolbox for sure. Um, improved optics, of course. Uh, improved controls. Got travel, hull traverse speed is a bit sluggish, so this will uh, make it uh, way better uh, in this manner. And uh, high-end consumables. And now let's take a look at this glorious, astonishing, incredible armor. Hope you get the joke, right? We're shooting a tier 6 tank with a tier 3 light tank. Just, oh my god. I will show you something different. We'll switch to tier 3 tank destroyer. Just look at this. Just look at this. 
it's a tier 6 tank and we are shooting tier 3 tank at it and still in most cases it will get in it's, it's just incredible uh, you know what I mean about having no armor just uh, look at tier 6 okay let's take the yak pouncer for just look at this just look at this even if we're using the our uh, maximum gun depression of 10 degrees just look it's paper it's totally made of paper uh, you really count bounce shots in this just you you will be lucky if you, they hit your gun mountlet and you can just try to side scrape a bit but still as you can see if you're side scraping your turret is green your front is green even if you're shooting through your tracks, you are over angle, so uh, really be cautious in the tank. It really has no, literally no armor at all. Okay, so here's one of few games I wanted to show you. Uh, nothing special really, but I uh, really don't, this, uh, don't enjoy these tanks uh, that much to keep on playing just to uh, give some uh, incredible footage, incredible games. You, okay, you can have some incredible games in this tank, but um, it would ra rarely uh, go the way you want it. Uh, it's a realistic battle type mode, as you can see, uh, because I uh, played most of the time by now, so uh, I'm getting footage from this uh, battle type. As you can see, the engine is going down uh, quite a few times game even so two repair kits are really uh, useful stuff to have as you can see the penetration of a gun it's nice even uh, we could go even through the kv1 uh, turret so it's really really nice uh, here I'm playing a bit uh, in the front line for a second, but I knew I have to save this KV-2 uh, because otherwise uh, the Sentinel would get him easily because of the KV-2's reload time. So we're just helping our KV-2 right here. Our team is pushing A, they're doing quite nice, so we can just handle the big guns here. Under shot through the turret of the KV-2 this time, so as I told you, the penetration values are really, really, really nice on this gun. That's the one thing about this tank, the gun. Not even gun handling, because it's quite nice, but not perfect, but more of a, um, just the punch, the penetration, and uh, quite nice um, DPM with a nice reload time that does the work. I was under the gun of this KV-1S, that's why he couldn't get me. It's a useful stuff not to get shot at in this tank, because like I told you, every uh, shot you will take will easily pain you. You can get some odd bounces, really odd bounces on the turret, or you can even try to side scrape a bit, as you could see on the armor uh, inspector, but um, don't really count on bounces in this tank. Like you can see, we did uh, we didn't have two kills, did uh, 1,200 damage, earned uh, 656 base XP, did some player assistance damage, did some hits here, earned some credits with a premium account uh, this time, but as you can see, it's 23k doing such not greatest of all damage but still a nice profit this game is our desert sands and it would be uh, quite more of a type of game style a game type uh, you will play like in this tank because like you know you already should know uh, this tank isn't <laughs> really uh, well uh, 
doing on the front line uh, it's more of a support tank you you can uh, help your uh, allies to just focus fire tanks and just uh, to take them out so they wouldn't lose uh, so much HP first clue for us we haven't lost any HP so good for us because we're gonna there's a chance we're gonna need it at the end of the game so try to try to uh, preserve it as you can see it's a realistic mode uh, so no enemy spotted and we are not uh, shown on the minimap uh, for the enemies that's why you can uh, get get useful stuff and do useful things like this where the enemies don't re even realize you're there like this uh, VK28 he just saw me <laughs> and it's a bit too late for him and for the rest because uh, there's more of greens here than reds we are cleared that flank and now it's time to help our friends at uh, B and C we have one tank destroyer camping in the back uh, 82 is coming like like you can see but there's it's four and two we are uh, have nice hit point pools no one's a one shot so it's gonna be quite easy to handle. I don't think we made any more damage in this game. Uh, so probably I will end it here. As you can see, two kills, 1025 uh, damage. Pretty nice, solid game. This game is in a platoon with my clanmate Spartan. We decided to push C because uh, we had an advantage of one uh, light tank in our team, so we thought it would be a nice idea to push on this side. But may, most of the cases when I have a battle like that, a supremacy game, I'm pushing uh, on A and B just to hold uh, two, uh, two caps and get some extra advantage uh, in points. Because as you can see it's hard it's very hard to cap the C uh, and it's quite easy to cap A and B and then to defend those two points I decided to push here remember it's a realistic battle mode so if you're not watching, we're not watching me <laughs> I can just easily hit you like I did here we're gonna finish this Panzer we can see the victory there and it's a nice tank we don't want to get hurt too badly <laughs> like I said you don't have armor on this tank so it's uh, good to be cautious in it as you can see Spartan 98 is pushing I decided to help him a bit He's on a reload now, so he's on a bit of a strife there, but our Leo decided to push as well. And we were able to finish the victory. But we have a crumble there, which we have to clear to clear this flank. As you can see, the mobility of Cheeto isn't uh, really great, and so... You have to be quite cautious. Now it's four and five, so it's uh, things are starting to look a bit grim in here. But unfortunately, we missed the shot. But our teammates uh, were able to finish the chromo, and as you can see, we're losing on cap points. So it's time to push now. It's four and four. We can still manage to. Uh, to do some good things as you can see we're playing a support role the KV-1S has a really nice gun which can uh, 
maybe not nice gun but a huge alpha damage and we are a one shot to him so we're trying to to hide a bit and here you can see the KD1 he's not looking my way so I was able to sneak one shot into him T25 put another and Nashron finished him off so now it's three on two but we are losing on cap points I have to be cautious because I'm low on hit points so I have to be cautious what I'm doing now he pushed on C I'm trying to cap B unfortunately T25 didn't went A and we'll lose this game on points and the last game is on Oasis Palms, um, pretty even uh, teams, but we have uh, one uh, less uh, heavy tank, so we decided to push C. Uh, as you would see, it was a good decision to push C, because we were able to, to win this game, as I remember correctly. <laughs> So we are spotting for our tank destroyers in the back and trying to shoot as long as the enemy is not interested in shooting us. <laughs> of course it's a realistic battle again so you have to be cautious uh, of where the enemies are because as you can see uh, they're not showing up on the map, on the minimap so you have to find them by yourself. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll summarize the tank uh, during this game. So it's a support tank, more of support tank, not really mobile tank. It's quite mobile for a, me for a medium tank, but not as mobile as, let's say, the Cromwell uh, or uh, some uh, other medium uh, tanks. It has no armor, uh, totally no armor, so you have to be cautious uh, when uh, facing enemy because otherwise you will get tracked very uh, very fast um, one more thing about this tank uh, if you you can see the gun is nice the penetration of a gun is nice the gun itself is quite nice but you have to wait uh, to a uh, radical to just uh, get as uh, small as possible to uh, be able to shoot efficiently so uh, be you have to be very cautious in this tank you have to uh, pay attention to to the battlefield to your midi map where the enemies are who are they facing their turrets too so uh, you won't get uh, killed very fast here we had an advantage so I decided to push to help my team because everyone was pushing so as you can see it did quite nice so that's all for this review uh, take care bye bye and see you all on the battlefield hope you enjoyed this episode if you enjoy my videos please subscribe uh, give me your comments give me your thumbs up so I know what to do and I know you were enjoying this